What is up guys, Two Hand Gaming here and welcome to my 7 days to die day 1 tips and tricks video. In this video we will go over 10 tips that will help you get started. Also some of these tips are for random generated map only but still everyone can learn from it. Everything has its use in this game so make sure to pick up everything you find. Punch grass, punch twigs, collect rocks, collect feathers from bird's nest. These are basic materials that you will need throughout the entire game. Doing these sudden quests has a lot of benefits. They are easy to do and they don't take a lot of time. These quests will show you how crafting works in this game as well as rewarding you a skill point. Plus, doing these quests will get you some basic tools and weapons that you will need a lot in the future. We will talk about skills and perks later. One of the last quests in the chain shows you how to craft a bedroll. When you craft one, make sure to place it as soon as possible. The world is a dangerous place and you will die a lot. Having a bedroll placed makes you respawn on that same spot. Otherwise, you would respawn somewhere random and you would lose a lot of time walking back to that same spot to get your stuff. I would recommend placing a bedroll in an abandoned house if you found one. Open your map by pressing M on your keyboard or if you play on console, open your inventory and press R1 until you find the map. Now looking at the map, you can see coordinates in the upper part. Move your cursor and you will see coordinates change depending on your cursor's position. Try finding 0.0, .0 coordinates and when you do, make a waypoint by pressing right click on that same spot or pressing set the button on the console. At that spot you will find a city. Finding a city ensures you fresh supplies every time you visit. After you got your waypoint set, start walking towards it. While collecting things on your way to the city, you will stumble upon wild animals. There are 5 types of wild animals you can find. Chicken, rabbit, pig, deer and a bear plus a zombie bear and a zombie dog, which you should stay away from. These wild animals are the best source of meat, hide, bone and fat. On top of that, chickens are the best source of feathers. You can outrun animals like chicken, rabbit and pig and kill them with your melee weapon. To take down a deer and a bear, you will need a ranged weapon. When you see a deer, make sure to crouch. Crouching puts you in a stealth mode and while undetected, you will deal bonus damage. After you kill your prey, use your stone axe on the corpse to skin it. Use a bone you got from the skinning to craft a bone shiv. Using a bone shiv on a corpse is better than stone axe. Previously said, when you crouch, you enter a stealth mode. Stealth can help you a lot in this game. Sometimes it is best not to draw unnecessary attention. For example, if you see a group of zombies ahead that will definitely see you if you tried going around, try crouching. It will allow you to sneak around them in plain sight. Just don't get too close, otherwise they might see you. Just make sure not to have any food that emits smell. That also can blow your cover. Aside from that, doing any activity such as scavenging and foraging well stealthed makes less noise. Making less noise reduces the radius from which zombies and other players can hear you. If you haven't found a city yet and it's starting to get dark, you will have to find a quick shelter. These point of interest can prove quite useful to spend a night in. Following a road, you can find various stores and following a side path can lead you to a cabin. Try finding a shack that's two stories high. Knocking the ladders or breaking the stairs makes you unreachable for the rest of the night. Nights in 7 days to die are horrifying and ruthless. When the night comes and the wolves start howling, you don't want to be outside. At night, zombies become rabid and they start to run towards you when they see you. That's why stealth crouching is the king. Go all the way up to the attic and crouch. Make yourself a campfire and prepare for the following day. While playing the game, you will level up and acquire skill points. Levels are gained by crafting items, cutting down trees, mining rocks, using tools, basically doing everything. Going into your perk tree, you will see various perks that can be learned. In the upper right corner, you will see how much skill points you got to spend. Take a look and learn perks that you think are the best for you. I would recommend taking quick crafting, miner 69er and run forest run. These perks are extremely useful. 
Entering city can be fulfilling, but be cautious. Zombie dogs are roaming around. Getting face to face with a zombie dog can be fatal, so make sure to put a bedroll before you enter the city. But if you do see a dog, do not use melee weapons on him. Dogs move radically, and they are really hard to hit. Use a ranged weapon instead, and use crouching to your advantage. After that, you will have a whole city to explore. I would recommend setting up a base right away. Just go around, find a house you like, and make it your own. Use your stone axe to repair blocks and to upgrade them to a next tier. If you want to build your own house, use these houses to stash your loot while you go and gather enough to make your own. That is all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. If you found this video useful, hit that like button. That is all for me guys, see you in the next video, peace out.